Disney is laying off 28,000 employees as pandemic as this pandemic hammers its theme parks. And uh, and the reason that this story is so important is because we talk about the pandemic and the loss of businesses and how so many mm -hmm. businesses have been hurt. You hear people saying, oh, the Red Lobster in my neighborhood is closed or this. Those companies have insurance and some a lot of those corporations will recover and they will be OK, because if you can own a chain of Red Lobsters, you're probably doing OK. But a lot of people are losing their jobs. And yep. um, these people who work at theme parks who we don't think about because those jobs are jobs that don't make a lot of money and we don't value in this capitalistic, materialistic, superficial um, society that we live in. Those 28,000 employees that are there to be of service to those people who can afford, who can even go afford to go to Disney World and Disneyland, which a ticket is now over $100 a person. Yes. And I just don't think that we realize how affected the communities are and how affected people are, the people on the ground, which are the people who always matter the most to me. Yep. And I think a lot of people aren't looking at it. Someone... I forget who I was talking to, but they're like, well, they should have had savings. A lot of people aren't making enough living wages to save. It's not about your responsibility or anything like that. They're literally living check to check. So, so many people, and you know, I used to do restaurants. So I have a lot of my friends who are suffering now because they can't, they're not serving or the restaurants are either being shut down or they're dealing with only 25% of the capacity where it was already a struggle. Now it's like, well, you still can work, but you're making less than you would on unemployment at this point. And it's unfortunate. Yeah, it's really, really uh, bad. And that's 28,000 um, people that are, I don't know if this is a Disney worldwide or um, I didn't read the story, I didn't get to it. But I, if it is worldwide, I mean, those are people in Florida, people in, in Los Angeles. Those are or Anaheim or in the surrounding areas, yeah. the people all over the world that that's the are Disney cruises. That's all the Disney. Yeah. And those are entertainers, which a lot of people, you know, people love entertainers because entertainers are who keep people. They keep you going through these moments. Everybody's binge watching. You know, you, yep. you have a lot of these people talking about people in Hollywood and the actors and this. But those are the people who are getting you through this moment. And uh, those people who work at Disney. It, when it's hot and they have to wear a goofy outfit or they're serving the hamburgers to people who are being rude to them, those are all human beings. So yep. 28,000 human beings lost their jobs and, uh, and people are still politicizing this pandemic instead of really trying to find solutions and how to, making, how to make the world better for us in this moment because this is our reality. And I don't think a lot of people touched on as far as them being entertainers, people aren't thinking about the entertainers. What they're doing is they're coming to our IGs or our lives and they're getting all this good free entertainment. And like, you need to keep, you need to keep going. And I was like, but I need to also keep paying this rent. And I shared with you before I was catfished. <laughs> A childhood friend who basically hit me up and said, I have a job for you. And I got excited because I need all the jobs. And I was like, oh, a corporate gig. And it was like, ha ha, got you. This is such and such. Um, I just wanted to get in contact with you. The shit's not a game. <laughs> right. entertainers, entertainers, restaurant workers, all of the people that people take for granted, but make their lives so much better. Human beings are being affected. And I think more people need to take that seriously. Yeah, I agree. Um, or the parrots are going to cuss you. <laughs> the parrots are going to cuss your ass out. I'm going to get a parrot. And don't let the eagles get involved. <laughs> <laughs> they got cousins. They got cousins, I tell you. Listen, um, you bought a movie, Birds. This shit is going to go crazy in a minute. I'm talking about, you know, and that was the thing that somebody, uh, Ronnie, Ronnie gets me to do point. We, you know, these debates, they've become so political. You go to Twitter, you go to Facebook, the conversations that people are having are whatever points they can make about the other side to throw the other side under the bus. Yeah. What we're not having conversations about are like the daily lives of people who are struggling right now, the essential workers, 
the people who um, don't have the the glamorous jobs where they may or, or the big time jobs where they're making yeah. two hundred, three hundred thousand that don't have a savings, who are trying to survive this economy going up and down because people are playing politics with it. Um, yeah. Unemployment has also been fluctuating. You know, some people are really suffering because of it. Twelve hundred dollars. What did it do? What did twelve hundred dollars do for you? Not, not a motherfucking thing. And I didn't even get the full twelve. Right. I, I think I got nine hundred. I believe. I think it was something like that. But it's. And then they go on recess in the middle of talking about how our lives are going to change. They're like, oh, we got to go on vacation for a second. Y'all be all right. And it's not it's not OK. Like even at the max in California, the max of California, you're getting eighteen hundred dollars a month. If yeah. you max out on unemployment and then the max on unemployment, let's say you're getting eight hundred eighteen hundred a month you still don't necessarily qualify for like food stamps or cow fresh because they say that's too much. It, it's a ridiculous thing. Somebody I know was trying to get uh, food stamps and it got, they were like, oh, you got approved. You can get $16 a month. The fuck you gonna do with $16 a month for groceries? I'll tell you what you're not gonna do. You're not gonna eat. At no. all. <laughs> you're not going to do anything. Um, and, uh, you know, also they've made it so that you can go to fast food restaurants with food stamps because they're all in it. <laughs> so that, that you can go to McDonald's, you can go to whatever it is and go buy some food.